Is eating out a problem when you adopt a whole food, high carb, low fat, plant based vegan diet? We will find out in this video. I am Janina Vlad, the founder of leanoncarbs.com. My mission with this channel, where I upload free content, so free, valuable content, and with my business, yes, when I make an income <laughs> by coaching people, is to help you adopt sustainably this high carb, low fat, whole food, plant based vegan lifestyle to reverse your chronic conditions, to get healthy to increase your healthy longevity and to lose weight. We are here primarily for losing weight and losing weight without cutting down calories. So without uh, portion control and overly exercising. No, eating to reach satiety, but yes, choosing these foods that are very low in calorie density. That means they give you satiety, trigger satiety, keep you full for hours without an excess of calories because they are very diluted uh, meals, having all those fibers and natural water content and having a low content of fat. Natural low content of fat doesn't mean 0% fat. <laughs> yes, I have more videos about uh, these macros, so check those out. Now, to the topic of this video. People know that in their kitchen they have control, of course. They can not add oil on their <laughs> potatoes. They can control every, every step of the process, especially if they are the cook of the family, <laughs> if they are in the charge in the kitchen. But when you go out and you enjoy your life and go to restaurants with your friends, yeah, you are not in control over there. <laughs> you don't control the kitchen <laughs> of those restaurants. Um, how did I succeed in this lifestyle when eating out? I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, the fact that I'm not um, going out too often, but when I was going out and I was um, at the beginning of this journey, I found that it's almost impossible <laughs> to find a restaurant that can bring you those potatoes without oil, <laughs> without uh, covered in uh, table salt. Uh, table salt. Yeah, uh, the deal with salt. I address it in the different videos and I will um, address it in a different uh, completely video. I will talk only about added sodium. But for now I will tell you that uh, when you add salt, you increase the taste of that food. So you cannot stop when you reach satiety. <laughs> you cannot say, oh, I'm full, I'm done. You will say, I'm full. And although I am full, I, keep, I will keep eating because it's so fucking delicious. So you will say, oh, it's not that much. It's not big of a deal. It's just, it's just uh, a handful of food. Yeah, that can trick you into eating more, of course, and having this excess of calories. And after that, we are here to not have an excess of calories. We are not promoting eating in deficit, but neither in having an excess. That's why I stay away of uh, added oil and added salt on your foods. Um, yes, I was asking uh, the waitress, please, can you bring only those boiled potatoes and I will create a salad. Bring me a salad. I was ordering a salad and uh, potatoes or uh, rice. And uh, yeah, they, they did their best. <laughs> and maybe your, um, in your case, will uh, will do even better than in my case. But I found out that, yeah, they couldn't, uh, couldn't do it in my style. They intended to do it um, like for my regimen because all the time they were asking, ah, oh, you are will, you are will, you are ill. Oh, what's your, what's your health condition? Oh, you are so will, ill. No, I'm just uh, cautious with my food. I'm just aware of the food I put actually in my body? <laughs> I'm not healed. I'm just uh, more educated. <laughs> yes, and um, like veggies. Of course, you can, you can ask them cook your veggies on the grill without adding oil. Just uh, adding water, saute, make the saute with water on that uh, plancha. With that, uh, yeah, you know, that grill without uh, the whole, so how do you call the normal grill? Like, you know, that kind of big um, really? <laughs> yes, and they, of course, they put oil uh, to avoid uh, that vegetables to stick. And I was asking to clean that grill for me, so extra work for them. And I, they did their best, but in the end, was oil on those vegetables. And not only one time, many times. So this was back in 2016, 2015. And gradually, I went more seldomly, <laughs> less often to restaurants and my family enjoy 
uh, enjoy eating out, my kids and my husband. So they alone without me. Uh, when I still go to restaurant, of course, I bring my food. I bring my food and that was two years ago. Actually, two years ago was the last time when I went out. So I'm not very social. I'm not into this uh, life uh, of eating out. Uh, but bringing your food is not something to be ashamed of. Yes, bring, bring a casserole, boil your um, rice. This is easier to bring in the restaurant, I found out. But you can bring uh, baked uh, sweet potatoes, of course, in a casserole. And order over there a big uh, salad, simple, without dressing. You will put the vinegar and the... Uh, spices and herbs and whatever you like and pepper and on a dish you can ask an empty plate you put the content of your casserole it takes uh, five seconds and after that you put the casserole in your bag so you have a meal that from outside looks like a meal uh, created and cooked for you in that restaurant you have the salad that you pay from them nobody will uh, will object of you bringing that nobody will see it so you will have your meal, you will stick with your values and you will have this nutritious meal that will give you satiety without the extra calories. If you are serious about losing weight, if you are not that serious, if it doesn't matter for you if you start tomorrow losing weight and if it doesn't matter for you if you lose weight this month or not, okay, it, it's no problem. I was uh, in the beginning of my losing weight journey. Uh, after years and years of being high carb but doing a lot of mistakes like I, I already mentioned in this video so when I started losing weight in 2019 um, I said it's not a big deal to have this hummus that has tahini and olive oil it's not a big deal to have uh, all this tofu and these olives I was eating um, visiting my family uh, they did their best to create a um, high carb a vegan firstly because my family uh is not vegan only my family my direct family me husband and kids were vegan but my sister and her family my mother and uh, her family her my uh, grandmother because most of the time my mother uh, stays with uh, her mother and none of them are vegan but they do their best when we are visiting them to cook for us and um, in that time I enjoyed them, their bread uh, and all these um, uh, spreads that had oil and other fats. They did uh, like baba ganoush, you know, that kind of um, salad made out of um, eggplants. And that has not only a lot of oil, but also salt. And uh, yeah, they baked bread for us. And back then I wasn't... Um, that courageous to say no i actually don't eat this food thank you so much for trying uh, but i will stick with this and i will have my food uh, i will tell you in a moment but back then i didn't want to upset them i want to play nice i was a people pleaser so i yes i indulge in their food because you cannot eat just a little bit of bread with baba ganoush you eat two three four slices of bread so for that uh, one month and a half uh, when uh, we were visiting family I didn't lost weight and looking back I don't know um, was more uh, pleasant for me that experience of visiting family and eating their foods and not saying no I don't know and uh, did I uh, lost did I lose something because I didn't lost weight in that month and a half I don't know so if you get this perspective in time and look back you know better what's best for you in that moment. So if you want to be a people pleaser and to eat that food that they uh, created for you to be vegan and yeah, they, they put the effort, the time to create that and you want to please them and to enjoy that moment without um, controlling that much this level of fat and the salt and uh, the flour in that meal, you can eat it. It's not the end of the world because you, you are uh, you're not visiting family and friends every day. Because if that uh, every day <laughs> for the rest of your life, you will be overweight for the rest of your life. But if that is happening only one time in months, you know what to do. You know best what decision to take in that moment. Now, because I, I've lost weight and I experienced the uh, bouncing back when I indulge again in tofu and uh, tempeh and olives and avocado and bread and hummuses and other spreads, vegan spreads of course, but 
uh, with sodium and with uh, uh, plant fats. I don't want to experience that again. I want to be able to enjoy my food, to reach satiety, so to feel that pleasure of eating and that satisfaction when you are done eating and say, I'm so full, I'm, I'm done. You can come over here with the best brownie in the world. Doesn't appeal to me. And I'm after that feeling, after that feeling, knowing, knowing for sure that this food that brings me that satiety doesn't bring me an excess of calories. So doesn't making me gain again uh, body fat. So right now I know my values. I know exactly what I want for my life. And that's why, like I said, two years ago, I was uh, a lean because I, I've lost weight three years ago in 2020. And when I went, to, I went to that restaurant for the last time in my life until now, yeah, I brought uh, with me a big casserole of uh, basmati brown rice. And over there, I ordered a big salad. And I put all that uh, content of uh, my casserole, all, all the rice, in the salad. And I, uh, I mixed it together and that was a big meal and satisfying and healthy. And according to my value, high carb, whole, uh, no added salt and uh, low fat and no added oil. And I do the same when visiting family <laughs> uh, because I understood this very clearly. You cannot, um, you cannot let somebody else in charge with your nutrition. Nutrition is the most, uh, the basic, the, the crucial, um, the main factor to our health. Nutrition and who is gonna to be in charge with the health of my body if not me? I am my master. I am my, um, how do you call it? I am in charge with my life. I am in charge. I am responsible for my health. And health comes from nutrition. So I uh, take charge of this. This is my responsibility. I don't lee, I don't uh, um, put this responsibility on my sister or on my, uh, on my mother or other people in my family. When visiting family, I always bring my food with me. If it's in the lunchtime, I will bring bananas, dates, apples, and uh, rucola or kale or something else. When I visit my, uh, my sister, because uh, she has a uh, more uh, plant-based lifestyle, she's not vegan, she and her family they eat, they eat more fruits. So I can, I can find fruits in her, in her home. Uh, but uh, sometimes, just in case, I just bring more fruits, more fruits with me. And uh, that's, uh, that's, that's what I, I advise you to do. Just cook, prep in advance. Won't take you long, prep in advance. Boil in water some potatoes and bring those potatoes with you. And in that uh, house, if it's your sister, you can uh, make a salad from those potatoes. Peel them, make a salad with um, onion and uh, spring onion and uh, I don't know, cucumber and tomatoes, whatever else you enjoy with herbs, with vinegar, and you create your salad from the foods you brought. Or make the salad and make a big salad to share with them because sometimes the salad is so delicious for them and appeals to their day, to the, their eyes <laughs> and they will want to uh, enjoy that salad with you. So make it bigger. <laughs> okay, I hope you find something uh, valuable today. Share in the comments uh, what are your strategies when you are uh, eating out when visiting family. Uh, let me know if you consider this is too extreme <laughs> to bring my food with me when I am visiting them. And yes, like it, share it, subscribe for more. And now, watch this.